In this problem, we have to find the inverse Laplace transform of this here. So this almost looks like something that we know. So there's a formula that tells us if we have the inverse Laplace transform of s over uh, s squared plus k squared, that's going to be the cosine of kt. So this is a very powerful formula. But you see, here we have s minus 2, so it doesn't quite work. And here we have an s. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this an s minus 2 and then fix it. So I'm going to rewrite this as follows. We have the inverse Laplace transform of s over s minus 2 squared plus 9. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 2 and then add 2 like this. So basically we're adding 0. Okay, now watch. I'm going to put parentheses around this. And now we're going to break it up. So it'll be s minus 2 over all of that. So we have inverse Laplace transform of s minus 2 over, and then this is s minus 2 squared plus, uh, I'm going to write it as 3 squared just to match some of the formulas. You know, we have a k squared there plus the, the other piece, so inverse Laplace. Okay, and we have 2 over s minus 2 squared, and again, plus 3 squared. Okay, so again, all we did was we basically put a minus 2 here, so now we can have uh, some matching, you see. Now here we still have an s, right? Here we have an s minus 2. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do a shift. Also, for this one here, there is another formula that we will use. It's very similar. I'll write it up here. The inverse Laplace transform of k over s squared plus k squared. This is actually the sine of kt. Okay, it's the sine of kt. So we're going to use that formula here. But before we do, we have to do some shifting, right? Because notice here there's an s, and here there's an s. Here we have s minus 2s. So let's turn those s minus 2s into s's, and we can do that as follows. So this is equal to the inverse Laplace of s over s squared plus 3 squared. Then you draw a line, okay, like this. And then we're taking s to s minus 2, okay? Make sure you know, the shift goes where, wherever the s is, okay? So in this case, let me just fix my 2 there. It's really bad. <laughs> there we go. Um, so you put the line next to the, uh, it goes on the inside. When you're doing regular Laplace transforms, not inverse, it goes on the outside. So the line goes next to the s. Plus, let's pull this 2 out. Inverse Laplace transform of, and then this will be s squared plus 3 squared, and we're going from s to s minus 2. And then there's a 1 here if I pulled the 2 out, but we need a 3 there. So I'm going to put the 3 there and divide by it, okay? That's so we can use the formula. Remember the formula, let me scroll up so you can see it, has a k. And so here the k is 3. You see the formula k right here, the k. So k, k. So k, k right there. So you want that, that k there. So I put it there and then I took it away. All right, let's finish up. This first one's going to be cosine of kt, which is 3t, and then times, this is going to give us an exponential. It's going to give us e to the 2t. I'm going to put it in the front, and then plus 2 thirds. This will give us an exponential, e to the 2t. Remember, uh, shifts become exponentials, and this will be a sine 3t. Let me go over that again because I did that pretty quickly. So whenever you do a shift, like if you shift from s to s minus 2, you get e to the 2t. If you do like s to s plus 2, then it would be e to the negative 2t. If you do like s to, you know, um, s minus 7, it'd be e to the 7t. And remember, this has the s, that's the cosine formula. This has the k, the number, that's the sine formula. So Hopefully this video has been helpful. Hopefully you have these formulas so you can use them. It'd be really hard to do this problem uh, without these formulas, um, but I'm, I'm sure you do. So hopefully this has helped you. Good luck.